life. I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm gonna to show you how to let out your dress and make it bigger. What? Did you even know that was a possibility? It's totally a possibility, and we are not gonna be adding strips of fabric. We are gonna be letting out some seams and some darts to make the dress bigger for you. This method will work awesome for you if you have darts, pleats, or gathers at your waist going up, and let's say the dress doesn't fit you in the waist, because right now my dress does not fit me in the waist, we need to make it two inches bigger, and we're gonna do that by letting out some darts. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following me on my sewing adventures. And if you don't know, I now teach sewing classes in person and virtually. You can check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. Supplies for letting out your dress are super simple. You're going to need a nice sharp seam ripper, you're going to need some matching thread, and you're going to need a dress that is way too small for you in the waist. The first thing we need to determine is where are we gonna let out the dress? So first you need to know how much bigger do you need the dress? I need my dress two inches bigger. So what we need to do is measure the darts, the gathers, or the pleats that are on the inside of the dress. So let's turn the dress inside out. So what I'm gonna do is measure the bottom of the dart to determine how much we can let it out. So this dart is a half inch, which is great. So that means if I let it out fully, it's going to be an inch. And then same darts over here, so it's another inch. So that's the two inches I need to let out. But we have fabric below the waist, and I have pleats here. So what I'm gonna have to do is also let out my pleats, but I think that's gonna look just fine when we sew it back in. Now, I'm gonna let the dart out all the way. So I'm gonna get rid of it completely, which should be fine. I don't think this is gonna affect the fit of the back bodice at all. It's just gonna give us a little movement in here, which I'm totally fine with. So make sure if you're getting rid of a dart that you're not destroying the fit of your dress. You might be wondering, why do I have to let out the pleat if I'm letting out the dart? Since we're making the waist and the bodice bigger, we're also gonna have to make the waist and the skirt bigger as well, so that way we can sew them back together and they will fit. So that's why we need to let out the pleats on the skirt. Now grab your seam ripper and we are going to rip apart the waist right where the darts are. Now you don't need to seam rip the entire waist, you just need to seam rip the waistline where the darts are. So I'm gonna seam rip all of the stitches that are right around where my dart is so that way I can easily pull these two pieces of fabric apart. So I think I've about got it. Let's flip it over, get rid of these pieces of thread. Okay, so now these two pieces are coming apart. We have the bodice and we have the skirt. Now what we can do is start seam ripping the dart. When you're seam ripping, you wanna be really careful that you're not snagging any of your fabric. So you definitely don't wanna pull and rip your seams to pop the stitches. You really wanna use your seam ripper. And don't worry about any of the little dots that you can see where the thread was. We're gonna go back over that with an iron and some water and those will fill right back in. Okay, we have our dart completely out. Let's flip it so it's inside out so you can see. Okay, so check that out, it instantly got wider by an inch. So now we're gonna have to let out this pleat that's right here. So we're just gonna make sure it's released. Got a couple extra stitches in there. Okay, so now because I had a pleat there and I let it out, the skirt is bigger, so I'm just gonna have to refold a pleat in here. Now I have everything seam ripped on this side of the dress. That is all we need to seam rip so that way we can sit down at the sewing machine and sew it back together. But first, let's seam rip the other side. So do the exact same thing to your other dart. 
pleat or gather. And maybe you have four pleats in your dress and you want to let out all four pleats. You're going to just continue to replicate this process again and again until you let out the dress as much as you need it. I'm all done seam ripping. Let's take a look at the dress. You can see where I let out the darts on both sides of the dress. Now all we need to do is iron it nice and flat and get rid of all those little dots. And you can see where I undid the pleats so that way we can repleat them and fit them into the waist. So if we measure the bottom of the dart, we took out an inch here and an inch here. So we got two inches bigger. So now it's time to iron it and sew it back together. I've got my ham under my dress so I can press out my dart really nice. So we're gonna use some hot steam and then we can also use some hot water on it. And then just take your finger and brush it over where those dots are. And you're gonna notice it's just gonna blend right back in together because the fabric's not damaged. It's just been pushed apart from sewing and wearing the dress. It just gets a little pulled. Okay, we're looking good on the side. And do the same thing over here on your other dart or however many darts you have. Go ahead and flatten them all out and get rid of all those little thread holes. Our dart is looking great. And now we're gonna have to refold the pleat here so that way it fits into the waistline. Since your pleat underlay is gonna be a little different if you have pleats, we're just gonna have to go ahead and pleat it in the center so it is somewhat even because we did let it out. So it's not gonna be perfectly even with the other pleats. So I've re-centered it and now I'm just gonna iron it in place. And then we can put a pin in it and then go head over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin in the skirt to the bodice, pinning both layers together. Now all we need to do is sew it together. And then you wanna do the exact same thing to the other side. I have everything pinned up and it's looking great. I can't wait to get over to the sewing machine and finish this up. Now what we need to do is connect these two seams together with a straight stitch. Make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and the end. And then for the raw edge that we have here, we're gonna go back with the serger and just serge the edge in some white thread. And it's gonna look like brand new. Like we never even touched it, but it's gonna fit. And if you don't have a serger, no worries. You can finish off the edge of your fabric with a zigzag or an overcast stitch. Don't forget the back stitch at the beginning. Make sure you're coming a half inch into the straight stitch that's already there. And then back stitch and cut. Our opening is sewn together. Now it's time to head over to the serger and finish off the raw edge. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off this edge here. beautiful the dress looks you can't even tell that we let it out an inch go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side and then I'll try it on and see if this works we did it the dress fits in my waist now this is awesome so check out the back so we got rid of the darts but the dress still fits really well and you can see where I repleated it looks awesome I love it so if you washed your dress and you put it in the dryer and maybe it got too small, maybe that's what happened to this dress, it's really easy to let it out and make it bigger. Obviously it depends on the style of dress. This works really well with things that have a waistline and other seams, darts, pleats, or gathers going into the waist from the bottom and the top. And let's say you didn't have any darts, pleats, or gathers, you could also let it out on your seam allowances and make the seam allowances smaller. So I hope you enjoyed how to let out your dress and make it bigger without adding any fabric to it. We just refashioned the dress and saved it by letting out the darts in the pleats. So cool, right? Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today on how to make your dress bigger. I would love to hear your comments. Leave them down below for me. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and tag me in all of your sewing projects so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to share them, so make sure you tag Sewing Anastasia when you're posting your projects. Also, if you don't follow me and all my other social medias like TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter and 
all those other fabulous sites, make sure you follow Sonia Anastasia so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you already follow me, thank you so much for following me on my sewing adventures and sewing with me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.